Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. So today we have an eBay lot, another eBay lot. So this is a $45 lot of 18 iPods. Um, these are all iPod touches, I believe. Um, and in the photos, they only showed 14 of them, but said that they added four more after taking the photos. So that's interesting. We'll have to see, you know, I have no idea what some of these might look like. Um, but most of them do look cracked, but apparently they're untested. So let's just see what we got here. And as you can see, I have chargers so we can test them. So yeah, after looking, it apparently says that some were tested and some are not tested. Um, so yeah, I don't know, but they don't show any of them turned on. So for me, it's just a big mystery. Um, okay. I did notice I hear, I heard them sliding around, and yeah, it doesn't look like the packaging was very good. Like, some of these aren't really covered at all. Okay, yeah, some of these do look like they're tested, because you can see some labels on them, but... Okay, so I guess... Yeah, this one just caught my eye. <laughs> like, what is that screen protector? Um, yeah, this is an iPod 4. This is a Touch 4. Looks like it's 8 gigabytes. Got another Touch 4 with no home button. I think this is one of the ones that wasn't pictured. Um, 8 gigabytes, okay. It says it's dead. What does this other one say? This one says, I don't know what that means. Um, power up, I assume. I don't know. Uh, okay. We have a Touch first generation. There is no label. It's 8 gigabytes. Another touch first generation, and you can see there's a dead spot. I do actually have a spare iPod first generation screen. Yeah, bad screen won't charge PU. Power up? I don't know, but if it won't charge, I don't know what that means. If any of you know, let me know. Okay, this looks like it, oh, I thought this looked like it had a good screen, but there is a crack on it. I'm hoping, like, my big thing is I want to get one not cracked iPod Touch 4, even if I have to combine them to get them to work, I want to get one, okay? That's, like, the big thing I want here. Um, and I thought there was one without a cracked screen, um, but I'm worrying that maybe it was this one that it got damaged in shipping. I don't know. 8 gigabytes? It says home button doesn't work, and I was noticing that even before reading, like, it does not click. Um, it's a Touch 3 or 4. Second, yeah, second, this is a second gen, uh, 16 gigabytes with cracked glass. Oh, okay, this is a good touch four screen, isn't it? Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any dead spots. It is lifted up though, so I don't know if the flex cables are damaged. Um, won't power up, I assume is what that would mean. Um, how many gigs? Oh, this is a 64 gigabyte one. These actually still go for a lot. Like this iPod might be old, but the 64 gigs go for a lot. I am really happy to see a 64 gigabyte iPod. Hopefully we can get that one to work. Um, this is a, oh, it says it's a second generation, but it could be a uh, uh, third generation because they look similar and the third only came in 32 and 64. I think the second did come in 32 as well, but it wasn't as common. So I guess we'll have to see if that was labeled properly or not. Um, Okay, it's just another 8 gig uh, second gen with a cracked screen. A lot of second gens in here. Um, I honestly didn't even look at these much before buying them. Like, I just wanted to find something that had a lot of iPods um, for a cheap price. And I was like, okay, I'm buying this. Okay, another 8 gigabyte second generation touch. All right, we got an iPod Touch 4. I think this is probably one of the ones that they didn't show. Yeah, this is a... Touch forth, crack glass, it says broken LCD, so considering that they know it's a broken LCD, I assume it must turn on. Um, I can't see the storage because it's covered by a sticker. Okay, I removed the sticker, but it looks like it was like sanded down. Like I can't even read what the storage amount is on that. Um, it, like, what the heck is this packaging though? Like they could have wrapped stuff in here, like you know, in the bubble wrap, but they just put the bubble wrap in the middle and they put the iPods on the side. Like, that's not helping. Um, anyways, okay, we have a second gen iPod, which it says that the power button is stuck, and it obviously is cracked as well. 
Okay, this is a touch second gen with a cracked screen. Okay. And then we have an iPod touch four, eight gigabytes. Oh, well, yeah, I pressed the power button. And yeah, well, this one works. <laughs> um, is that all? Oh, okay, well, look at that. They did actually wrap these. Maybe this one was wrapped in there too and it fell out. I don't know. These must be the four that were, maybe these were the four, I don't know, because I don't remember these. Um, but yeah, I definitely like seeing a bunch of iPod 4s. This one looks like someone just took sandpaper to it. Like, what happened here? And there's a dead spot. And there's like two cracks, but the cracks aren't even that bad. Like, I don't usually care about really rough scratches even, but this is like so bad, like... This is 16 gigabytes, that's cool. Mine was a 16 gigabyte. I kinda wanna, um, like I'm gonna sell all of these, but I am gonna keep an iPod 4, like I was saying. I kinda wanna keep a 16 gigabyte black one, just because that's the one I had. Maybe this one, potentially. If that means power up, then that would be good. Um, all right, we got this one. Uh, no, I don't know if that means no power, frame bent. Frame bent? Okay, it's more just dented in. I thought like it was bent bent. I was like, how? But yeah, okay, this looks to be in bad shape. You can see it was dropped up here and it's caused the power button to not click at all. Yeah, they did tend to like when you would drop them the on the corners, they would bend and it made it very annoying to fix these. I mean, these were already awful to fix, um, but then when they have like the corner dents, you have to unbend them and it's even worse. And now I can already tell you, I can't fix this one. Because I'm looking at the charge port, and there's some bent pins in there. And you have to micro solder, or not micro solder, you have to solder a new one on. Because, you know, Apple sucks, especially with the iPod touches. They were so unrepairable. But, oh well. I mean, I guess there's not even much I can take from this, because I can't solder. I mean, I can try, but even then, there's probably not much I can take from this thing. Maybe one day I'll try to actually, like, solder on a new charge port or something. Um, okay, here's an 8 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte iPod Touch 4 with a cracked screen, but it's not that badly cracked. Um, okay, and then we got this finally, which is, and this one I did see in the photos, and uh, I remember this one because I noticed it has a black border. Like, see how the border is black? Versus, like, see this white iPod? There's a white border, and this one has a black border, and that border is attached to the housing, which means that this used to be a black iPod and they put a white screen on it. Um, okay, this is eight gigabytes. Oh, look at that. Christina Graham's Merry Christmas 2011. I love that. So that was everything. Okay, so now what we have to do is turn that on. And okay, we're gonna start with the iPod 4s. Maybe I should save the best for last, but I'm too excited. I'm also excited to like see what people had on these iPods. It's always fun to see like the apps and the music, like, cause they're often so of the era, you know? Especially because, um, like I wanna do more iPod 4 lots in the future because the iPod 4 is like people my age, people like, like I'm 18. So people like kind of around my age, there was a point in time, like back in elementary school where every single one of us had an iPod 4. Like all, I, I, is that just me? Like all of my friends had an iPod Touch 4. So like, it's just such a nostalgic device to me. I want to get more of these. And it's especially nostalgic because you see what's on other people's iPods when you do stuff like this. Um, and it's just, you know, often similar to what I had on my iPod. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. I love looking at iPod 4s and I love the iPod 4. Like I just love hate relationship because the iPod 4 is not repairable at all. Um, but at the same time, it's just, I love it because of the nostalgia. Okay. Yeah, a lot of these are powering on, which is a good sign. But yeah, like all, pretty much all these I'm plugging in and we're getting some sort of life from. This one, uh, yeah, you can see the LCD is busted on this, which isn't surprising because it's pretty heavily damaged. Where's the 64 gigabyte one? Is that, uh... Okay, that is this one. I want to see if this one can turn on. They said it doesn't, it looks like, but... I mean, considering the screen's lifted up, like, it's very common to have these screens seated wrong. Like, if you uh, sit the flex cable incorrectly, it will cause it to not light up at all. So maybe the board works. I hope the board works. That would be so cool. 
I don't think I've ever owned a 64 gigabyte iPod ever, like even later on. Um, okay, I don't think there's any more chargers here. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if it's going to do it again. Look at that. If I press it in just the right spot, a small portion of the screen lights up. Does the touch work? Oh my gosh, it does. I just, <laughs> I'm on the, I'm on the, look at that. <laughs> no way. I thought it didn't because it didn't make the noise. I don't know if they turned the noise off in settings. <laughs> that is so funny. Well, we know that the board works at least somewhat um, on that one. Okay, so it looks like this one just turned on and is actually reset. You can see the LCD is cracked entirely. There's this blob up here from a crack, um, which usually would kill it. And this is also definitely some aftermarket display. You can just kind of tell. It's not that bad of an aftermarket, but you can just kind of tell from the way it cracked and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm surprised this works. Let me see if I can set it up. Okay, so yeah, now it's set up. Let's see what iOS version we're on here. Okay, yeah, so we're just on 6.1.6, .6, but we have one iPod that's working, which is awesome. So now that we know that iPod works, I can plug in this last Touch 4. Oh, this is the one that they said is dead, but I can see a charge screen there. Um, let's check out this guy. Okay, so this guy is on. That's the one with the bad home button. Oh my god. <laughs> that is amazing. This is why I like looking at people's iPods. I don't know if that's weird, but like... Come on, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm gonna assume that there's Drake on this iPod, but um, yeah, there's not much on here though. Like we got junk. Um, yeah, there's like all this is just the stock apps actually, um, just in folders. So <laughs> I swear I did not do this. It's literally named Samsung, except there's no A. I thought, like, you know, since this has a replacement screen and used to be a black iPod, like, you know, this is something that was really important to the person. They had all this stuff on it. There's really not much on here. There's a few songs. Um, this is, oh, this is Christina Graham's iPod, by the way. So, sorry, Christina, for revealing your Drake obsession. But, um, yeah, so this is an 8 gigabyte iPod, and it does seem to work, but, Yeah. So apparently I lied about that being the last iPod to plug in. There's still two more. So let's plug in the one with a good screen here. One of these has a bad charge port. It must be this last one. I have sometimes had it where these will still charge with the bent pins because sometimes those pins that are bent are for like data. So like it might not connect to the computer, but it'll still charge. So it is worth trying to charge this, but I doubt it's gonna work. Okay, so this one turned on, which is cool, because this is the one with only, like, a few cracks. But last time I unplugged it, it just died instantly. And these batteries are soldered on, so if the battery is bad, that's really unfortunate. Um, but yeah, so there is a uh, lock code on here. But uh, hopefully this will work when we restore it. Uh, maybe it'll hold a charge after a while. Let's see if... Yeah, it's not holding a charge right now, which is unfortunate. But I guess I'll just keep this one plugged in then, because I'm hoping for it to hold a charge, but anyways, yeah. I guess I can unplug this one, because I know this one works too. It looks like it doesn't even have a background. It's just blank, kind of like the um, like the older iPod, like the iPod uh, second generation. You couldn't set a wallpaper here, but you could on this one, so. This one holds a charge. Oh wait, actually the wallpaper isn't blank. You can see something there. This one booted up and it actually has one of those passwords that are like letters and numbers, um, but the touch screen doesn't seem to be working so I can't get back to it. Oh wait, it works up here? It's not... Okay, wait, I shouldn't move that too low. Yeah, oh, okay, I moved it a little bit. Come on. Okay, whatever, there's a password on it. Um, yeah, this iPod has seen better days, clearly. It holds a charge, though. 
Okay, this is actually the last iPod 4 this time with the vent charge port. Oh yeah, the power button's jammed. Oh my god, it's charging. That's great. That's great. I love that. Let's see. This one. Okay, this is the one that doesn't seem to be turning on, the 64 gigabyte one. This is the sandpaper one. Okay, this one's still dead. Um, I think this one's been boot looping. I haven't really been paying much attention, but I think it... Okay, yeah, so I was paying more attention now, and this one is just boot looping. Like, it'll do the Apple logo, and then, like, fade to white, and then shut off. Okay, it's not the battery, so it might just be software then. Um, but I guess we'll set that one to the side for later. Okay, yeah, so this one is disabled for 11,000 hours, and I can't show it because, again, there's a picture of people on it. Um, but yeah, hopefully when I restore this, it'll be good. And there's only one single crack on it, so not bad. All right, let's plug in our two first-gen iPods, because they're always fun. These don't seem to have expanding batteries. I feel like the um, touch first generation, I've seen a lot of these with expanding batteries. Okay, yeah, we got the battery screen on both of them, cool. So, and actually, if we combine the two, one of them has a bad LCD, one of them has a bad digitizer, so we could just combine these two to get one good one, um, regardless, but I do actually have some spare parts, so I might be able to get both of them looking really good. Okay, so a quick update on this iPod that doesn't hold a charge. I guessed the password. It was just 1234. I always, when I get these um, with the passcodes, I try to guess it. Like, um, it's either 1234 or right down the middle, which is 2580 or 0000 or 1111. Like, a lot of times um, back then, people didn't really care about having a password that was really secure. Oh my gosh, no way. Is this the old Minecraft? Wait, no, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Oh, I think this is the new one. I was hoping for the old layout. I would have been so happy. But I think this is the latest. Yeah, this is the latest version um, that works on iOS 6. Darn. Okay, there's <laughs> there's some worlds on here. I might have to look, but yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of games on here. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. So yeah, I'm glad that we, I guessed the password because if I can't get this to hold the charge, I wouldn't be able to restore it um, anyways. Um, but yeah, since we don't need to now, it's fine. Looks like it's an 8 gigabyte iPod belonging to Carson, so cool. Okay, so this is the one with the bent pins, and it has an issue that I do sometimes see it'll charge enough to turn it on, but then it won't charge further. If I turn it all the way off, I think it might charge when it's fully powered off. Um, but yeah, this does work. It looks like it's fully erased and it's probably on iOS 6.1.6. .6. Yeah, it's on 6.1.6, .6, 8 gigabyte iPod. Um, yeah, with the broken charge port and power button, it's kind of worthless, but oh well, it turns on. <laughs> Okay, so this iPod that looks like sandpaper was taken to it turned on. Okay, I guess the home button. Oh wait, no it does. Sometimes these will like work. Um, sometimes like, yeah, see that first press didn't work. Okay, yeah, this is working. I assume the battery doesn't hold a charge because it says it's fully charged. Uh, that's not a good sign. A lot of these um, might not be working because they sat so long and they hit such a... Um, low power state that they won't turn on a quick tip like if you have an ipod or an iphone or an ipad or whatever that you pull out of your closet doesn't hold a charge or it's boot looping or whatever try one of the ipad chargers like those 12 watt ones because sometimes the extra power will get them to turn on and sometimes they won't hold a charge at first like i had a 3gs that i thought the battery was shot on but i used an ipad charger for like it literally took like 24 hours and then it finally held a charge so uh yeah i just thought i'd mention that yeah, okay, this iPod says Billy's iPod, um, 16 gigabytes, 6.1.6, .6, so it doesn't look like we're getting much old version stuff here. I'm gonna, okay, now it doesn't say it's fully charged. I'm gonna leave this one plugged in, see if it will hold a charge or not. Um, this one looks like it turned on. Uh, it's disabled, which really is annoying because 
you can't really restore these iPods very easily with iTunes anymore. You have to use, I think, an older version or something. Uh, so that'll be fun, I guess. Um, but yeah, it does work, so that's definitely good. I wish that you could still restore these in iTunes, Apple. Okay, I just pressed the power button on this and it started turning on, so let's see. Okay, well that's booting. Let's plug in all of these second and third generations. I guess I waited so long for these because they're not as exciting to me. I don't know. Especially because these are like the least valuable of all of them. Like even the first gen touches are worth more just because of how old they are. But these are worth nothing, especially when they're cracked. And they're annoying to work on, so. Okay, we couldn't get these plugged in. We got most of them plugged in though. Okay, so this one turned on and then immediately died. Um, but yeah, this one, uh, it does show that's uh, charging. So I wanna see if it'll hold a charge. Okay, it does, cool. Okay, sadly, I'm going to give up on this 64 gigabyte iPod, at least for now, um, because it's not showing any signs of life, no charging noises or anything like that. So we will plug in our last two iPods here. Okay, so looking at this one, there we go. Some of these chargers are weird. This one looks like it's on and working, nothing on it. Uh, so yeah, there's a, okay, bad power button. A lot of these have bad buttons, I'm sure, because that's common on the second generation touch. But yeah, we have a bootable second generation iPod touch, so that's cool. Okay, here's the 32 gigabyte, let's see. Okay, that one's still dead. This one is on. Once again, nothing on it. Um, judging by the voice memos, I think that's one of the older ones. I think this might be on an older version. You can downgrade these, but it is kind of annoying. Okay, yeah, so we're on 3.1.3, um, and this can go up to uh, iOS 4, so that's kind of cool. Let's see, does this have good buttons? Oh, the volume up does not work. Volume down works. Not really, it, it did work. <laughs> yeah, they don't feel right either. The power button doesn't work? I swear it worked before. Okay, yeah, this iPod has some button issues, clearly. Holds a charge, that's cool. Is this one on yet? Yes, it is. Okay, this is the 16 gigabyte second generation touch. Okay, this does have some games on it. Cool. Holds a charge. Volume buttons. Ah, oh, the power button ruined it. It's not clicking right, but it does work at least. See, all these buttons at least work somewhat on this one. But see what I mean? These all have button issues. And it's usually from dirt, um, but yeah. This one turned on pretty quickly actually, but just to a white screen. Let's see if this will do anything. Although I'm sure it probably won't. Even if it would, the buttons are probably broken, but yeah, it's not doing much of anything. Holds a charge. The white screen could be from water damage, by the way. Well, I don't know, but okay. So this is the 32 gig, right? Yeah, this is the 32 gigabyte. Oh my gosh, it's jailbroken. We got the unfold. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got a green dock here. Oh, yo, this is cool. This is cool. We got Dreamboard on here. Do you guys remember this? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Dreamboard. And you could like make it look like Android. I remember Dreamboard on my iPod 4. Oh, we got some themes on here that weren't the default one. Yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. How do I go? I want to leave. Hold on, wait, what? How do I, I don't, I don't know how to use this, help. <laughs> wait, oh, okay. Is there, oh, here we go. Metro eight, oh my gosh, no way. No way, this is so cool. 
There's a Windows Phone theme on here. Okay, this is way too cool. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I've been trying for a solid minute to exit this theme. Like, the other one had Dreamboard on it, but this one I can't figure it out for the life of me. Please help. Wait, what? Camera? Wait, um, where? <laughs> That's, why is there even a UI for the camera on here? Like, how? Oh my god, look at the screenshot I found. And then you got a search for computer RAM on Craigslist. That's funny. Okay, so as I suspected, this is a third generation iPod Touch um, because the uh, second generation can't get iOS 5. And as you can see, this is indeed on iOS 5. We even got an emulator on here. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Even the lock screen looks like Windows Phone. Oh no, turning it on and off doesn't exit the theme. <laughs> I still don't know how to exit. Okay, I finally figured it out. You, you just hold here. Like I couldn't even find anything online because I guess that there's themes like this, but they're all a little different. You just have to hold, it worked before. Yeah, hold and then, there we go. Yeah, we got a lot of emulators on here, but yeah, this is really cool to see a jailbroken iPod from back then. Especially with Dreamboard. I haven't seen Dreamboard in a while. Do you guys remember Dreamboard? That was so cool. It does hold a charge. And all the buttons work. Cool. Okay, yeah, this one's just showing a white screen, so we can give up on this one. Rip. Now we got this one, which is a uh, eight gigabyte second generation, which is what most of these are. Okay, we got working volume buttons. The volume down doesn't feel super clicky, but clicky enough. Okay, yeah, so all of them work fairly well. I mean, the volume down, actually it's loosened up now. Sometimes like that dirt breaks up as you use it and then it'll stick again. Overall, not bad though. We're on 4.2.1, AKA really slow. Um, there's nothing on here, so it's just a normal iPod. And hold the charge, cool. Okay, so I was wrong, I totally jinxed it. I think this battery is expanding, and it doesn't seem to charge. It'll charge until it turns on, and then it'll turn off again. So it was like boot looping for a while because of that. It does turn on right now though, um, but with any charger, it won't charge. Um, and there's a passcode on it, so... Guys, my charger literally just exploded. <laughs> it, like, well, not literally, but I plugged it in and it just... <laughs> Don't buy aftermarket chargers, please. Okay, so just a quick recap. Um, here is all the iPods. This top row is all the ones that do turn onto the home screen. Um, this one needs to be plugged in, um, but they all do go onto the home screen without passwords or anything. Um, so we have, this is an iPod Touch 4 8 gigabytes. This is an iPod Touch 4, wait, actually, I don't know how many gigabytes this one is. This one is the one where you can't see the gigabytes on the back. Okay, it's 16 gigabytes, so that's cool. And then this is a Touch 4 16 gigabytes as well. And then this is a 8 gigabyte. And these all have various issues, um, but they do all turn on. Um, and then this is a iPod Touch 3, 32 gigabytes with a jailbreak, which is cool. This is a Touch 2nd Gen, 16 gigabytes. This is a Touch 2nd Gen, 8 gigabytes. And then I think these other two are both 8 gigabytes as well. Yep, they're both 8 gigabytes. Um, and then these two, um, well, this one, yeah, this one has, both of these are disabled. Um, trying to remember what everything is. Um, then this one, yeah, these are both, they are disabled or passcode locked. I think this one's passcode locked. And they have physical damage. Like this one, the touchscreen doesn't work enough for me to use it. And then this one doesn't charge when it's turned on. 
this one is the one with the bent pins. Um, it'll charge until it's turned on, similar to this guy. Um, so, yeah. And then there's this one, which turns on, but it's just really damaged. Um, that's an 8 gigabyte model. This one with the bent pins, that's also 8 gigs. Um, and then this is a second generation uh, iPod Touch that just lights up white. And this one just boot loops. That could be software, I don't know. And then this is the 64 gigabyte iPod that does not show any signs of life. This is the only one that is completely dead, no signs of life. Um, so yeah, that is all of the iPods. We're going to ignore the top row because they're all working. And we're going to focus on some of these that could use some assistance. Also, I'm going to keep this plugged in. It's plugged into a 10 watt charger um, and see if that eventually holds a charge, but I don't think it will. Hi, so um, yeah, I was planning to um, fix the iPods in this video, but the video is already 30 minutes long and it would be an hour and 40 minutes and I don't think anybody's gonna click on this video if it's that long. So this will be a two or three part series so if you do want to see the repair part of this video, stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed because that video is coming out very soon, as well as some other videos. Sorry for my lack of uploads in general lately. School's ending and I'm just trying to get in all those last minute, minute assignments. You know how it goes. So school's almost over. I should be back to my normal upload schedule. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.